so again, this, this particular gathering, I think we just, <clears throat> this kind of was birthed many years ago through a youth organization we were very <clears throat> in step with. This actually came out of the great state of Louisiana. How many of you have ever heard of Fat Tuesday? Well, this had its birth out of that idea. If faithful, available, teachable, meaning we as the servants of God, all those things. And one of the things that I've noticed, not every church, and hardly actually any churches, really invest in their people to this degree. Um, but I just want you, number one, if you're serving here, you know what you're doing, you know what is expected, you know how to do your job that you've been asked to do. And, I mean, it just just training and helping. Has anybody been in a new job before and no one really stood by you to give you the pointers you needed and you, you was like all day long, I don't know if I'm doing this right? And it's not so much that serving God and working in his church is hard, it's just, you know, there's really a lot of opportunities and we are just scratching the surface around here of what's available. And Tammy and I love team. We've spent so much time not having team that it's new to us to some degree. And we didn't want to beat everybody over the head with it all the time. <clears throat> but fat chat is, is one of those moments where I love this common, this we're down you know, common things down. It's not a service. It's just chit chat. It's interaction. And I love you guys and thank you for being here. I'm humbled. I look around the room at some wonderful people. Um, some of you've been with us from the first day that we came, but that number is getting smaller. So who was here the first day? One, two, three, four, five. So in this room of 20 plus people, there are five from the original conversation, congregation, when I showed up. That's a testament to God and do what he's doing by his spirit. Um, I just want to start today. Are we recording? Good. This will be available later if anybody you know will put it on our uh, Facebook uh, page for people to go back and watch. I just want to thank everybody. Um, there's, there's, there's really been a lot of change. And while there's certain days that I, you know, as I confess this morning, you know, just God's doing something in spite of humanity. Because he knows who we are. He knows what we're made of. He knows our weaknesses. But anyone who's currently working, serving, helping us in this in this church right now, moving it forward, we thank you. It is, this is the privilege that we get. Ephesians 4, do the work of the ministry together. And um, I'll just name some of them. You know, our hospitality team has really gotten pretty cool. You know, that was a great vegetable tray you brought today and it was a tag team effort, had a little sickness in the home, so that was cool. We, we had to take care of that. Um, you know, Jamie and April do it once a month, and uh, you guys do it, and uh, Brian and Cindy do it, and they just do a phenomenal job. We're thankful. Um, hospitality matters. That's kind of the uh, first time impressions that people get when they come in. And even though this is a church, we want people to feel warm, warm and welcome. Um, Joseph Hope goes without saying people who serve in that ministry that was really our benchmark God really started moving us forward in this community it was our willingness to serve in the food pantry and um, man there was some crazy that crazy beginnings we can laugh about it now but I mean, a semi-trailer full of pallets and climbing over everything and hundreds of people, you know. And then trying to get rid of a whole thing of milk. Thank God for pig farmers, right? Um, situational support, you know, I know that many of you um, do things when asked. You know, you're, you're not on a rotation serving maybe in an area, but when you're asked, you, 
you do that. And there's several people gone today that would fit in that category as well. Um, it's like Jeremy Webster. Um, Jeremy was the one responsible for cleaning that whole drainage pipe out. Last year, we had a waterfall in the women's bathroom because it froze because we didn't have adequate drainage out away from the building. So the water in the pipe froze in the winter. And then in March, when we got a rainfall, it came over the side and down into the building. It was a weekend event. <clears throat> so I'm in the women's bathroom mopping the Saturday morning. <laughs> I was jealous. Hey, you got to understand, last year, I got my taste of seeing a building of 70-plus women and what it looked like to be full. How many of you know last week we hit 70 really close to it? No special occasion. And we still counted like 12 people gone. So what's going on here is not, it's not me, it's not man. God uses us, but it's, it's supernatural. Um, I want to say thank you for, I could say Brooke, if table. It took a team this year, everybody involved, decorating, getting it ready. But you brought the idea to us. We didn't want to do it alone. We were thrilled for someone who would take it on. But you didn't just take it on, you took it on for the year, consistently doing the if table. I'm just going to tell you, that has opened the door to a lot of opportunities. And it's a cha changing some lives. And it's a great community. <laughs> it's just great community. I love that Renata is a faithful attender to that gathering. Um, I'm just so thankful for that mechanism at work in our church. And I don't see it stopping. I think it's been phenomenal. It's producing fruit. When you're producing fruit, you keep, you keep doing it. So um, Wednesday nights, you know, we've started doing our Wednesday night team. Meals, serving, filling in being the facilitator of the prayer and Bible study, coming and, and helping in the booth like you are. Um, <clears throat> our tech team. The tech team is growing. Um, we, we're, still, we're still working through some bugs, but in the next two weeks, Raquel's going to be gone for three straight Sundays. Or is it four? Well, it better not be four. We won't be firing her. We'll be, we'll be giving her more work when she gets back. No. April stepped in and is learning. So Jamie, Jamie and April were out of town this weekend, but they've been some of the most faithful people in serving and being here since they came back just around Christmas. Um, and then, you know, there's people who also help office support, uh, money counting, um, that are faithful every Sunday to be in there to do that. And, of course, Sue doing what she does on a continual basis. Even though we have outside bookkeeping, Wes has his hand up. Quarter after what? Oh, yeah. <coughs> yes. That's awesome. It's good to hear. That's a good report. Um, I will say this, and I'm getting ahead of myself. Mm, pardon me. I did talk a little bit today, didn't I? While we know traditionally churches, I have stuff here to drink. Yeah. Thank you, Alyssa, for bringing it to me. Um, we're, we're at the stage now where everybody's a greeter. I like Sam and Jan. They're my, they're my, uh, I don't know what. 
They know, but they pastored. They, they know what they wanted help with and how they wanted to do it. And they're doing it. They're retired. They don't have to do any of this. They're doing it. I just, I got to brag on the Holy Spirit because when San and Jam showed up, we were, we were starting to get frazzled. God knows what, what we need when we need it. Why he doesn't do things a little quicker sometimes is beyond me. Um, thank you. I will say this before I give everybody the thanks because you all are doing a great job. The Shower family has done quite a bit in their availability, the situational opportunities, the being here to help run cable in the ceiling. I mean, it just filling in on a Wednesday night for the kids. It, this, is, this is a team effort. This is starting to be what a church looks like. And um, I got to say thank you for the most to my wife. Um, I mean, I'm sitting on the couch yesterday, Saturday morning, and it's not a great day, right? It's cloudy, it's cool, and drinking coffee, and I'm, you know, I don't know if you guys got the man brain in the morning like I do, but it's like, duh. <laughs> and she starts talking about fat chat. What are we saying? What are we doing? What are you going to talk about? <laughs> I think we ought to talk about this. I think we ought to talk about that. I think we ought to say this. And that kind of got my pump going. And we, we started locking up, talking, you know, and, and addressing specifics that we wanted to cover today. And I just, I know that we would not be, I would not be where I'm at today in this church, seeing the success that I'm seeing without Tammy. I'm just going to be honest. She is, a, she is a great asset to me and to this church, and uh, I'm, I'm grateful for God knowing things that I need before I need them. So, um, pastor's wife, extraordinaire. She doesn't necessarily play the keyboard and lead women's groups, but she is, she's an organizer and a facilitator. <clears throat> anyway, uh, just want to let you know, we are planning a membership class late May, early June. It'll depend on how things fall. I know we have the holiday in May with Memorial Day weekend. So however that falls, we want to have a membership class. And all membership is is just a way of you saying to us, we want to be a part of this church and serve and be conjoined. We're, we're like-minded. We're going to follow the, the vision of the house and we're going to, be in step with that. And um, what membership does is it allows us, according to our bylaws, to then actually give people a chance to serve on a board or trustees, uh, appointed positions that we have to, you know, we have the obligation to do it through the proper channels. Um, without membership, we can't appoint people. And I'll just tell you right now, we are only operating with two board members besides myself. And typically, it's between four and five is an average church. We didn't have a lot of candidates. We're getting candidates, worthwhile candidates, people who are not novices, but available candidates. And I have a heart for where I want to go with that. Um, I think a, a board needs to be more than just a uh, a title. Um, it needs to be a position that oversees and has responsibility. We haven't been there yet, so what? Something I hope we get to. Um, <clears throat> I just want to share a few things. And again, this is feedback, and so we can have interaction, just like Wes doing what he did a minute ago. Um, I love transparency in the local church level where we are. Um, I like people be able to ask questions and we don't have to tell you, you can't see that. 
It's not your business. You can see it. It's your business. We're the church. If we're handling something wrong or inappropriately, we need to be exposed. All right? Because we got to be above reproach. Thank you. Some things we're still working on that we've run into some problems with, but it's mostly manpower and time. Um, we're still working toward the kitchen remodel. The sinks that were purchased some eight or ten years ago are in the boxes in the kitchen to see if they're going to work. I've asked Sue, Brooke, and Jan, along with my wife, and anybody else who wants to weigh in, you're a Wednesday nighter, you might as well weigh in, because we need to know if those sinks will do what we need them to, or we need to buy new ones, okay? So, if you guys could take a minute and look at that, I have a designer coming this week to tell us what, they, what we want the center island to look like. So, we, we're, we're, we're progressing, okay? Um, our youth facility right now is a block, block wall room. It's very blah, and uh, we need some life in there. And we are going to upgrade paint, TVs, video games for kids, a uh, place for them to hang out, call their own, and grow. Oh, yeah, they have. Yeah. One of the things they've told me, besides they like the idea of video games, they, um, they definitely want neon light strips. So, neon light strips, okay, we'll figure out how to get them in there, you know. <laughs> Yay! While I'm on this subject... We are looking to create a kind of a relaxed atmosphere in the youth room. We have the two couches that were up here. We have those love seats down in our room for the kids. I need two or three more. Chairs, love seats, something that's kind of cool. They can be fake leather. They don't have to be real leather. But if you have something you want to donate for the youth room, please do so. Um,